Let's start with the first group here. Now this group is probably uh, maybe your favorite group. It's my favorite group because we human beings are part of this type, of part of this group. And this group is mammal. Okay, so what is a mammal? A mammal is an animal with hair that gives birth to live babies. Okay, well these two panda bears, I don't think they're, neither one of them is a baby, but uh, a mammal has two distinctive characteristics. One, it has hair. That's the first characteristic. The second characteristic gives birth to live babies. What does it mean, live babies? In other words, when a mammal gives birth, the baby is alive, it's moving. It's not like an egg. When a, uh, an animal gives birth to an egg, the animal isn't you know, moving yet, right? It has to break out of the shell, so it's not really a live baby. Mammals give birth to live babies. The baby is moving right away after birth. So those are the two uh, characteristics or two unique features of mammals. Okay, and we can see many different types of mammals. Oh yeah, what's the second group? The second group is reptile. Reptile. And this is an example of a reptile, a kind of ugly but also a little bit scary example of a reptile. What is this? Looks like an alligator or a crocodile, right? So how do we describe reptiles? How are they different from mammals? Here we have a reptile is an animal that lives on land. It lives on land. It, it, it can go in the water as this alligator does, but it lives on land normally and it has dry skin. If you think of most reptiles, well, this guy just took a bath, right? He's just coming out of the water, so his skin is wet right now. But if you look at most reptiles, like lizards or snakes, their skin is dry, okay? So they live on land and they have dry skin. Let's look at a video of a typical reptile. Do you know what type or what animal this is? If you guessed iguana, right, it is an iguana. This is an iguana, right? It's a, it's a fairly large lizard, right, as lizards go. Let's take a look at it as it's, ooh, as it's moving around here. Okay, he's kind of an interesting fellow. He's kind of a little bit active. But you can see the way he's moving around. By the way, another interesting thing about reptiles is that they are cold-blooded. It means, cold-blooded means that they cannot regulate their own temperature. They are cold-blooded. Mammals are warm-blooded. It means mammals, we generate our own heat from our bodies, but reptiles cannot generate their own heat. They need a lot of sunlight, and look, he's on the rocks here, these white rocks. These white rocks are uh, giving off heat, so he's probably seeking warmth in the sunlight. Reptiles need that heat to, to warm their bodies, okay? If they don't have it, then they can get in trouble, okay? So that's another difference between mammals and reptiles. Okay, let's move on. Sometimes we can see uh, another type of animal. You might think, hey, that looks like a reptile, but it's not a reptile. It's an amphibian. Amphibian. Remember, PH sounds like F. Amphibian. Amphibian. So, an amphibian is any animal that can live both. That's the important point. Both. On land and in water. So a frog can live on the land, no problem, but it can also live in the water, no problem. It's amphibian, it can do both things. Amphibians have smooth, wet skin. Before we saw the picture of the reptile, and of course the iguana, if, uh, I'm sorry, the picture of the alligator and then the iguana, if you touched the alligator's skin or the iguana skin, you'd find it's, it's rough, it's not smooth, and it, it's dry, especially the iguana would have dry skin. It's, and it would be hard to, to do this, you have to be careful. It wouldn't feel very good. It's very rough and a little, little uh, uh, difficult on your fingers, a little, uh, maybe hurt your fingers a little bit. But if you pet a frog, and it's kind of slimy, right? But it has smooth skin and it's wet. So that's a, a good difference. Amphibians are wet, 
reptiles are dry. You could think of that in that way. But anyway, this is an amphibian. Let's take a look at a video of a frog. This is a, a little frog here. He's sitting in the grass and he looks, he looks like he's just hanging out. Doesn't look too, uh, too interesting. Oh, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, wow. That's pretty cool. That frog just jumped up, okay? So frogs, you know, of, of course, you know, that they, they jump up like that. They've got the big long legs, but they're amphibians, kind of a neat frog, right? Yeah, I hope he's, he's not on my head, is he? Okay, okay. Well, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, also we can group animals as birds. Birds are a group of their own because birds, if you think about it, they're unique, right? What is a bird? A bird has feathers, right? It has many feathers. We can see the feathers here. And two wings. One, two wings. Most birds can fly. That's another key point right there. Most. It doesn't mean all. It means most. Of course, when we think about birds, we think, oh, they can fly. But not all birds can fly. Think about in Africa. There's a really big bird that can't fly. It's called an ostrich, right? An ostrich. An ostrich is a bird but it can't fly. It can run, but it can't fly. So most birds can fly, not all birds can fly. So these are birds, but all birds have feathers, all birds have wings, okay? So those are the unique characteristics of birds. Okay, what's next? Insects. Insects are very, very, very common in the animal kingdom. We may not think much about insects. We may not think uh, you know, insects are very uh, great animals, but there are actually uh, a lot of insects. Insects are probably, and the different species of insects are probably more than other types of animals. Insects are probably the most common type of animal in the earth. But we don't think about them because they're so small, right? But what are insects? An insect, this is a good picture of an insect, this is a stag beetle, right? Very impressive looking uh, creature, but remember, it's, he's not that big, he's, he's a small guy. Uh, an insect is a small creature with three body parts, it has three body parts, uh, and six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. Insects have no bones. There are no bones inside of an insect. The insect gets its strength for its body in its shell. Insect shells, insect bodies are hard shell-like uh, uh, structures. So insects don't have bones on the inside like animal, like uh, mammals or birds or reptiles do or even if amphibians, okay? So this is an example of a stag beetle, all right? Let's take a look. Here's another, another type of beetle here and he's crawling along a leaf. You can see his head, you can see the middle section, you can see the abdomen, and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six legs. He's kind of having a hard time crawling over this leaf, but that's a good example of an insect. Insects have three body parts and six legs. That's how you know it's an insect, okay? So, bye-bye, beetle, okay. Okay, so another large group of animals fish, right? Fish, of course, live under the water. And uh, again, we don't really encounter fish too often because we don't live in water. But if we go swimming at the coast or if we go diving, snorkeling, we can see fish under the water. And they're very colorful, very interesting creatures. What is a fish? How do we describe fish? A fish is a creature that lives in the water. It breathes through its gills. You can see the gills right here, this opening on the side of the head right here. Uh, there's oxygen in the water, but uh, we, can't, we can't get that oxygen because we don't have gills. But a fish has gills, so it can push that water through and take out the oxygen, and that's how a fish breathes underwater. If you take a fish out of water, it can't breathe because gills don't work in air, okay? So, fish use fins and a tail to swim. So the tail here and the fins, they use that to swim through the water, okay? So next, let's take a look at a unique part of certain fish and also reptiles on their skin. You know, different types of animals will have different characteristics to them. One interesting characteristic is a scale. 
What is a scale? A scale is a section of the skin on a fish or reptile. You can see this pattern. This pattern is very close up. We're looking very closely at the skin of a fish or a reptile. Their skin looks like this. It's in, uh, it's in scales and these scales sometimes will, will flake off, right? We have smooth skin. We cannot see scales on our skin. Only fish or reptiles. So fish or reptiles only have scales. This type of skin. Very interesting. It, it protects them uh, and it's, an, it's a different style. It's a different uh, type of skin or covering for the animal. When we talk about animals, we can talk about their young, right? The young of animals, okay? So as we see here, we have mama sheep, right? And we have two baby sheep, right? Lambs. Um, this would be one, uh, one uh, baby sheep. We could say young. So actually both of them are young. Young is non-count. We say the young of a sheep, the young of a horse. So young is the babies of animals, right? So when we say young, we're talking about the babies of animals. Okay. Now before I talked, we talked a little bit about uh, uh, insects. When we talked about insects, we said insects have no bones. Insects do not have bones. Now we're talking about bones. A bone, what is a bone? It, this is a very strange looking bird, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, it's, a, it's an illustration. It's an artist's uh, drawing of the inside of a bird. Normally we don't see this, right? But if you could take away the skin and the organs, this is what you're left with. You're left with the skeleton, the hard bony uh, structure inside an animal that supports the body, right? If you didn't have the skeleton, right, it, it would, there's no support. It would just, you know, fall apart. It'd be, there's nothing, there's nothing to be able to move around, right? So a bone is a hard, that's the most important thing of a bone is that it's hard, a white part that makes up the frame of the body. So the bones make up the frame of the body and they support the organs and the skin and everything else that the animal needs to survive. So the bones uh, make up the frame of the body, okay? And not just for birds, but also for us and mammals and many other types of animals, okay? So this is the bone. Bones are very important, okay? Also, it's good for you to drink milk to help your bones, right? You need a lot of calcium because that's what bones need to grow. Uh, and you can find milk in uh, you can find calcium in milk. So drink a lot of milk, it will help your bones. Okay. Now, some animals, remember we talked before about mammals? Mammals give birth to live young, but not all animals give birth to live young. I gave the example of eggs. Here we have a couple of eggs. This one is the normal egg that you, you, may, you might eat this one for breakfast. This one is a strange egg, looks a little bit different. And is it broken? I hope not. What's going on here? It looks like it's cracked, right? Probably the baby inside this egg is cracking the inside. It wants to come out, okay? So this is a different style of birth. Mammals don't lay eggs. But what is an egg? How can we describe an egg? An egg is a round shell, usually round, not, maybe not perfectly round, but roundish. It's a round shell where a baby bird or reptile grows. So it's not just birds, it's also reptiles. Reptiles also lay eggs and they will come out. Uh, fish also lay eggs too, by the way. So uh, birds or reptiles will lay an egg and the young, uh, the young bird or the young reptile will grow inside that egg and then after a while they'll crack and they'll come out of the egg, okay? Lesson 4. Types of Animals Mammal A mammal is an animal with hair that gives birth to live babies. Reptile A reptile is an animal that lives on land and has dry skin. Amphibian any animal that can live both on land and in water is an amphibian. Amphibians have smooth, wet skin. Bird A bird has feathers and two wings. 
Most birds can fly. Insect. An insect is a small creature with three body parts and six legs. Insects have no bones. Fish. A fish is a creature that lives in water and breathes through gills. Fish use fins and a tail to swim. Scale. A scale is a section of the skin on a fish or a reptile. Young. Young is the babies of animals. Bone. A bone is a hard white part that makes up the frame of the body. Egg. An egg is a round shell where a baby bird or reptile grows. Thank、you